Hey, Metal Maniacs, this is Kevin Cooper of Hostile Rage, and you're thrashing it up on Dave Softy's Metal Meltdown on Metal Messiah Radio. Stay heavy. Metal Maniacs, here we go. Please help me welcome to Metal Messiah Radio, hailing from Hewitt, New Jersey, from killer thrash metal band Hostile Rage. Joining us, we have the frontman, Kevin Kupo, on the vocals. Hey, Dave. Welcome to the Metal Meltdown, bro. Thank you for this opportunity. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. 
Thanks for having me. Oh, my, my pleasure. I, I have checked out your brand new offering, and I got to say, I'm very impressed. When I first heard it, I says, wow, this sounds so much like Testament. Being that you're from New Jersey and they are on the West Coast, I could call you the East Coast version of, of Testament, but I really want to know <laughs> all, all that we can about your fine thrash metal band. And I've checked you out on the Metal Archives, and uh, it's great to have you here for your actual full debut offering on The Rampage, released through Dive Bomb Records, based in North Carolina. That I find very interesting as well. And this is, like I said, a really kick-ass offering. I find it to be excellent musicianship all around, a great offering. Wow, cool. I appreciate that. Oh. We put a lot of work into it, for sure. I, I can imagine so. And I noticed on the Metal Archives that the band formed in... I think 1986, with uh, previous demos from 1987 to 1997. How were these years for the band's past for you? And uh, again, congratulations on getting on the Rampage out there. I also noticed that your original name, according to the Metal Archives, was Rampage. So your album really fits into the original name as well as Hostile Rage. So it's a really nice package you got going on. Well, thanks, thanks. I appreciate that. It's it's crazy actually because we, back in eighty six, eighty seven, really it was eighty six. It was just me, George, the guitar player, and Bill, the bass player, and we had this idea for a band, and we started out calling it Rampage. But then before we knew it, we got uh, some correspondence from the actual band that is called Rampage. <laughs> And they didn't like us using their name, so that's uh, when we had to come up with another one. And sure enough, our, our guitar player, George, was sitting there watching the news, and he saw riots on TV, and the newscaster described it as people being in a hostile rage, and he said, wow, that's it. So and the rest was history. But. Yeah, Rampage, I never heard of another band called Rampage. I just remember a song by... 70s band the glam band sweet that had something about rampage in a song or something like that but yeah that's pretty interesting but it's totally understandable and uh hostile rage is a great name for a band though and would you please inform the, the listeners on the current lineup of hostile rage i would imagine you've had some lineup changes over the last was it 30 some odd years wow yeah 33 it was actually 33 years last month god bless so yeah, <laughs> thanks. It's a, we're, get, we're we're working on being like the Stones, so <laughs> there you go. keeping it going this long. I, I but, wish you uh, the best. I wish you the best. Thanks, thanks. I appreciate it. But um, we had some lineup changes. I mean, right now the current lineup is myself on vocals, George Masculaire on guitar, Bill Buckley on bass, and Kev Green on drums, which is the original lineup from '87. Wow, that's pretty impressive that you're still yeah, together. Wow, yeah, wow. <laughs> that's what everybody says, wow. <laughs> but during the 90s, we went through a couple of lineup changes. Uh, Bill left for uh, some personal reasons. Same with the drummer, Kev Green. So we had a couple lineup changes. Mike Dolan on bass, who was really great. Uh, we had uh, Manny Fasano on drums. And we made a few demos, and it, it just wasn't, that original lineup. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't that original lineup. So I would say back in 2009, for, I, I can't even remember how it happened, but we all connected somehow. There are four original members. And we said, hey, you know, uh, what the heck? Let's get together and, and, and see what we can come up with. So we got together and we started jamming again. And one thing led to another. We played a couple shows. Uh, we played here in Jersey at a place called Dingbats with Joey Belladonna when he was warming up for the Big Four tour. A um, little while after that, we did a show with Whiplash, which which was a great show. I love Tony from Whiplash. He's a great guy. And uh, then we started recording. We went back in the studio and started laying down some tracks. And then just like everything else, it... it, 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 it it just took a break. Every life happened. People went this way, that way. So for a few years, we we had some basic tracks laid, but we never really, you know, embellished on them or anything. I see. And then, I would say about a year ago, 
a year and a half ago, I got contacted by Dive Bomb through the Hostile Rage Facebook page on the email. And uh, they were interested in taking our first three demos, which was volume one on the rampage and adrenaline flow. And they wanted to repress them, remaster them and put them out as a package in a CD. And what I told him was, you know, it's funny you say that because we'd been in the studio a few years ago starting some tracks and we'd really like to include those. And so we went back into the studio and working with them, we decided to just make it a double album where the nine songs that we were recording, our new stuff was on the first CD and the three demos they wanted pressed and remastered would be on the second CD. And that's what you're getting in the Hostile Rage on the Rampage album. So that's, is, a gr- that's a great idea. And you got a great break there. And, and yeah, how, how, you, what time frame for the new songs? How long did it take you to record that and get that ready? Hmm. Well, like I said, we started in 2009. We just laid down drums and scratch tracks. And then when we got contacted from Dive Bomb, we went back into the studio and finished everything. So that, that was really... Uh, within the last two years, we finished up everything. I see. Well, that's great news. And as I mentioned, the sound of your band, I'm very impressed with. It's outstanding cool. thrash. And I want to know more about the making of, of your music, meaning how do your tunes come to fruition? Who's responsible for writing the words and the melodies, the music and the lyrics? Uh, I would imagine you probably write most of the lyrics, being that most of the times I find that the vocalist usually is is the best writer in the band, but not always the case. But what is your story? How does your music come together? Well, I mean, really, we all participate, but I, I mean, the ideas themselves and everything really come from George and myself. We, we, we trade riffs off and I'll show him an idea and he takes it from there and He's really the arranger. He's really good at it. I mean, I, I got to give him. I got to give him props. And uh, yes, I am the lyricist. I, yeah, was, I come up with all the words. That's for sure. Yeah, that was an educated guess. I mean, I didn't know for sure, but it makes sense to me. And uh, what studio yeah. was on the rampage recorded in? And if you could tell us uh, who produced, mixed, mastered, and was responsible for the recording of this, we'd love to hear it. We did all the recordings at a place called J-Rod Productions in Pomona, New York. We had known him from years back. He was in a band, Out of Darkness, and we all played the Rockland County scene around here, so we're pretty good friends with him. And he got to the point where he's got his own studio and production company and the whole bit. So there was no place else we'd rather go besides J-Rod Productions. The mastering... The remastering of the demos and the mastering of the new stuff was all done by Jamie King Audio, which is also out of North Carolina. And I believe it was not last year, but the year before, he had a band that was up for a Grammy nomination and the whole bit for his production. So we were happy to have him involved, that's for sure. I have to say, your end result, the sound is amazing, so you must be very happy with the results. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It's it's the absolutely no question. It's the best sounded thing, best sounded tunes we've ever had, best production we've ever had. Yeah, it sounds like it. And also, I I really enjoy your imagery, uh, both your your logo and your cover art. Uh, it's pretty dark, and it reminds me a little bit like a, a green a Grim Reaperish type of feel, or some like biker dude type of a, of a situation. Yeah, yeah. So it's I'm the Jersey thinking, Devil. Is is that what it is? Okay. Yes, the Jersey Devil. Oh, okay. I did. I wasn't yeah, even it, aware that there was us one. Being Jer- us being Jersey boys, we figured it's almost like our Eddie, you know. Ah, that makes sense. And you know, being from Long Island, I'm like kind of ignorant to that. I had no idea or oblivious yeah, we'll to that. Hr. <laughs> yeah. So uh, his name is Hr. Hr. Oh, interesting. Hr. Interesting. Is, who created this? Uh, actually, it was a gentleman named Patrick Moran, who is actually. Bill, our bass player's cousin, and what a phenomenal artist. He's, he's such a terrific job. He, he, he does such a, excellent work, and we're so happy that we got to use this. We couldn't be happier. It, it makes for a great tattoo. Have any of your fans actually got your 
artwork as a tattoo? I could see it happening. Well, I don't know about fans, but I've got them right on my arm right here. There you go. <laughs> that makes sense. Excellent. <laughs> It makes it, like I said, it makes it for a perfect tattoo. And yeah, who, absolutely, absolutely. And who designed the band logo? Uh, also Patrick Moran. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. He, that's, was, he was our artist through all the years, that's for sure. Well, that's, that's very cool. And thank you for sharing that with us. Now, as we know, this COVID-19 pandemic is really uh, messing up our lives, putting our lives on hold. And who knows if we're ever going to go back to the way the world was before this that being I don't said know, Dave. yeah that being said i'm very interested to know how is that how this covid19 has had its effect on you personally and as a band have you been able to support on the rampage before the release well i i mean we we were able to put out that it was coming and everything and the release date and we released the teaser song we actually released our video as a teaser on january 1st of 2020 of this year and the album was released on february 7th so we were able to run with the video for a month leading up to the release of the album but i mean <laughs> we said you know 33 years we waited to do this we do it. We get it out. The album was selling. It's it. By the way, we're on Amazon, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora, iHeartRadio. Yeah, we're even in Barnes and Noble and Walmart. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, and, and I mean, it's, it it's been doing really well. And we said, it, wouldn't it figure after thirty three years that a biblical pandemic. <laughs> It's the year we put our album out, finally. Wow. But, you know. That, that's something else, right? And I noticed, actually, I noticed you have a CD release show uh, on April 25th. Now, is this on a schedule or has this been postponed? I would imagine you won't be. It's been be, postponed. I would imagine yeah. so, yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's that's my uh, next question. All your shows that you had planned have been canceled because of the situation, but. Uh, do you have any long-range uh, plans after this, or is everything postponed to let's say uh, 2021, like uh, all the other bands out there that have had tours? They're not even thinking about anything for the rest of the year, as well as sporting events and you know everything. We just everything is just at a standstill. It yeah. really it, it's heartbreaking to see this, but this is what we're it, living in now. It really is. I mean, I I, I wish we didn't. Ha I hope we don't have to wait till 2021. I mean. Not only did our CD release party get rescheduled, which was the 25th of April, but we also are playing the New Jersey Metal Fest at the Debonair Music Hall on June 27th of this year. So right now that's up in the air also. Right, so we right. Don't, yeah, who knows? I, yeah, we don't know when who this knows is going to be over with. Gonna, yeah. yeah, who knows where we're all going to be at by June 27th. Exactly, so. exactly. I think the worst is over, or at least I hope so. I mean, the amount of, of deaths daily are pretty high, but I think those are people that have been ill, let's say, over a month ago. I think the amount of uh, new cases, I think, have been going lower and lower as the days go by. So who knows? Hopefully by, by June, you know, maybe I could get back to doing what I'm supposed to do and everyone else in the world could go back to their normal lives. But, like, we, we don't know. You know, we, they're still working on exactly. getting, getting a exactly. cure, cure for this. So who knows? Well, just being, you know, I want to wish you the best. You know, hopefully that the situation does get resolved or, or eases up and we could go back and And I mean, do that. you know yourself, New York and New Jersey are the worst. So, yeah, we're hammered. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we got hammered. Yeah. yeah, China really, I hate to say, but China really fucked us over. They Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, don't even get me started. I know. I know. We could have a, a five-hour interview just about that. But <laughs> yeah, right. w without being p political, it's just, uh, you know, they just were... Just pissed off, that's all. <laughs> yeah, talk about full disclosure. They didn't really tell us what was going on yep. in, in the real situation, and our president took it very lightly, and everybody said, ah, it's never going to happen here, and we got really bad. But not just us, around the world, especially uh, Europe, Italy. Spain, France, unbelievable. They have it just as bad as us. It's really a sad Absolutely. situation, really sad situation. 
But getting back to your music, I also uh, I want to inform the listeners, which you just really had just a moment ago, about where to get the music. Uh, you have all these uh, Amazon, as you said, and CD Baby, on and on. But I have also links I want to share with the fans on how they can get the, the music as well, as well as other merch. I'm going to sure. give you a band camp first. It's hostilerage.bandcamp.com forward slash releases. I also saw you, you on Reverb Nation, so I'll give that link to the people can check your music out. ReverbNation.com forward slash Hostile Rage. And then DiveBombRecords.BigCartel.com forward slash product forward slash Hostile dash Rage dash on dash the dash the Rampage dash 2XCD. Would you recommend those places for your fans to get the CD or get anything yeah, else? And, and I mean... Sure. And and if you're looking for something uh, like a lot of people don't want the physical D- CD, they want to stream it. They want to download it to their phones or whatnot. That you can do on Amazon, Spotify, iTunes, Pandora, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And I mean, also, let me throw out our Facebook page. It's oh, yeah. Facebook.com forward slash Hostile Rage USA. Thank you. And I, I noticed your CDs on these links, uh, but I also want to know if you could sp- uh, spread the word on what other merch you may currently have available for your fans. Well, we have anything from T-shirts to coffee mugs to blankets to golf balls to tote bags. <laughs> wow. And you can find any anything you want Hostile Rage on Zazzle.com forward slash Hostile Rage. Zazzle.com. Okay, thank you for There's that. There's some really cool stuff on there. You got, it sounds like it. Wow, I have to check that out. Very nice. I, I find we're in an age where most people, they're not really buying CDs much anymore. They're mostly downloading the MP3s and putting it on exactly. their, their iPod. But I do find that they will buy the CD as a collector's item. Like if they're really a fan of the band, they really love the album, they want it as something to hold on to. So they will and, buy the CD if they and really if I are. And I'll elaborate. And if I can, I'll elaborate on the CD a little bit. It's a really cool package. Uh, it's got a full color booklet in it with an interview, a 26 question interview with the band. Uh, it's got full lyrics for all the songs. It has old pictures, it had Metal Forces interviews, Metal Forces magazine interviews, the whole bit. So it's it's a really cool, really cool CD to pick up. I, I think anybody who is a collector would be really, really happy with it. So that's outstanding news. Thank you for sharing that with us. And uh, sure. Also, I went to your YouTube page, Hostile Rage on YouTube, and I noticed the on the Rampage official music video that you just mentioned a little while ago. Could you tell me more about this? And uh, if the band is uh, planning on making any future music or, or lyric videos? Yeah, sure. Uh, the on the Rampage video was done by a great company called Black Wolf Imaging. Uh, we worked with a really great guy called Alex. Couldn't, it couldn't have been easier to work with. So I, I got to give them a, a plug. So, <laughs> But, uh, I mean, yeah, please. It, it, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, if you could go over to our YouTube channel and, and check it out, like, share, subscribe, the whole bit, we would really appreciate it. And... Um, as far as new videos, we are planning on making a new one. We got a really good, really cool concept for our next one here. What we want to do is we're going all over social media and we're having our fans send us pictures of themselves, short video clips of what they're doing through all this uh, corona mess, the, the virus and all that. And we want to include them in the video along with us so you know to make them a part of it that's great so yeah yeah i think i think that would it, it's going to be really cool we're really trying to get people involved with that so any of you who are listening if you if you'd love to be involved send your pictures your short video clips whatever it is whatever you're doing uh send them over to us and and we'll get you in there and send it to your facebook page Sure, sure. Uh, our Facebook page, uh, you know, inbox us or uh, email us, hostile rage 
USA at hotmail.com. You can do that too. So, okay, thank you for that info. And uh, what can fans expect next from Hostile Rage? I understand with this COVID 19, you have probably more time on your hands than you'd like to, but at the same time, you're limited to what you could do because. Uh, social distancing and you have to be safe and I don't know if you're wearing the gloves and wearing the mask every time you go out but I am because we have to by law uh, well uh, I've got a hostile rage bandana that I wear around my face so. excellent I gotta get me one of those <laughs> excellent those, I'll, those, send you a, I'll send you a picture of it yeah I, got, check it. I gotta get myself one of those because that is also allowed if you don't have a mask they allow you to wear yes. any, anything over your mouth that would be awesome because I, I love and I can of, tell you that those are also available on our merchandise site zazzle.com forward slash hostile rage I'll, I'll, right. be, I'll be going to zazzle.com cool, sure. cool. So thank you so much <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I would like to know where you see the band in the years to come because uh, I really am enjoying your offering and I hope that you can come out with more music so that we can have repeat interviews and talk about your music and give you the support. Oh, yeah. We're already working on a new album. So great. I'm sure you have some uh, great material to work on, especially uh, if they're dealing with COVID-19. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, new stuff. Plus, we have a pretty good archive of stuff we've done through the years that never even got released that we'd love to re-record. Yeah, that's so, awesome. That's good that yeah, you have that material. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you do when you're not doing the band? How do you actually earn a living? <laughs> well, I'm not earning much of one right now the last month, but... Right. I, I, actually I, I, own, I, yeah. I actually run my own pet service. Pet service? And, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, absolutely. Dogs, cats. We, uh, we sit them. We uh, walk them. We take care of them. We board them. So... Has, it's, it's, well, has your business been affected by the uh, COVID-19? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I haven't worked in a month. Yeah. I haven't worked in two months. That's why I'm still doing Mental Meltdown. Because, uh, we, I'm, my, oh, you, my, you got me beats. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm probably going to be four months I'm going to lose of the of the Mr. Softy season because we're considered non-essential. But even if it was, I don't think people would be coming out. You know, it's just a really right, exactly. bad situation. It's, it's very sucky. Exactly. But we have metal. And metal is life and that's what i'm living on right now metal gives life that's for sure exactly and uh i really want to thank you kevin for spending time with us on metal mouth on metal messiah radio tonight i really think you gave us a great interview we've learned so much about hostile rage before we go though i want to make sure if there's anything else that you want to bring out there to the fans that we have yet to discuss please feel free to do so um well dave i just want to thank you for having me and uh thank you for all the props you've been giving the band and it this really was a great interview, and I, I had fun doing it. And I just want everybody to stay safe out there and know that th this is going to end eventually, and we're, we're going to get back to metal and concerts and the whole bit. But in the meantime, I want you guys to go to our social media sites, Facebook. We're also on Twitter. Okay, it's twitter.com forward slash Hostile Rage. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter. Check us out on YouTube. Like I said, Amazon, Spotify, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora. Just uh, keep listening and keep checking us out. And we're going to keep working for you. That's awesome. And I, I want to give a, a shout out to Grace Jones. She's a, a fan of Metal Messiah Radio and a friend. Oh, absolutely. And she's the one that turned me on to your band, and it's kind yeah, of she hooked us up. Yeah, it's kind kind of funny. Thanks. She she said I have a band for you to check out. She goes to me, and and they don't suck. <laughs> like so, I said I don't, okay, <laughs> okay. So I said I'll check them out, and then I heard your music. That's a very important thing. Yeah, 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 exactly. So uh, she she meant it as a joke, of course, but she didn't tell me how good it was. She says. Uh, check them out and they don't suck and so i check it out i go no no they don't suck at all so i'm very happy you know, she she turned me on to your band and i'm very happy that it worked out that we could do this interview and uh, you you already said a, a a nice thing to the people out there but i just want to make sure if at this time you'd like to say anything else to your fans that are tuning in at this time beyond what you had just mentioned now just what i say to them usually Stay safe, stay strong, and most of all, stay heavy. Thank you so much. And I want to wish you and everyone in Hostile Rage a safe and virus-free life. And like you, like I said before, anytime you have a new release, hit me up, and I will definitely support that, have you back on the show. 
and I hope that you could be bringing out more great thrash metal for all the years to come. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but your music to me, I think I mentioned, might have mentioned it earlier, you have that sound to me so much of a, of like a testament, like the, the East Coast version of Testament, even so that I like it more than the New Testament offering. And that <laughs> album is killer. The New Testament offering is killer. But something about your music just caught me, and I'm like, yeah, definitely want to get you back on the show. Anytime you have well, a new hell, release. You, you made my day. <laughs> well. You made my week. <laughs> well, keep doing what you do, and you'll always have a home here on Metal Messiah Radio on the Metal Meltdown to talk about your music. Absolutely. Very cool. And I appreciate I, it, Dave. Oh, absolutely. And I, I wish you uh, years of, su of success. Hopefully, it, it's due for you. You put in 33 years. It's about time that you have productive years coming for you, and especially once this virus settles down. I hope that everything really works out for you. So how about we crank up some more hostile rage now and let's crank it up loud. Let's do it. There we go. 